okay? We encourage everyone to do the same. Around the country, find an area in the town, in a public environment where you can speak on various issues and hopefully free from interference by council, public officials, the police and other security service agents. Okay? Affidavit 2, I'll begin, of Peter of England. Withdrawal of allegiance, control and authority denied and ended. Sworn publicly and notarized before a common law court of record, 750181. Failure to respond to my previous communication allows me the right to claim permanent, irrevocable, total estoppel by acquiescence under common law. I, Peter of England, declare that as from and including this present date, 8th of July, when the document was signed, 2012, and for all such time as may now be required to restore the lawful dignity and authority of the people, I deny and withhold all allegiance and obedience to all mentioned in section 1 of the preamble, affidavit 1, and for the record renamed below in paragraph C. A. Whereas it is now made plain to me that those persons as mentioned in affidavit 1, section 1, proceed as being Crown representatives, officials of any capacity, so representing themselves of the Queen Elizabeth and the papacy of the Roman Catholic Church, and those infiltrates and also the United Nations, the World Bank, the European Union, or other Zionist, Rothschild-controlled, junta puppet regimes or governments, and the others, have been entirely deposed of their right to govern or advise me by the devious machinations of traitors and by all of those evil persons who have formerly or do now support the enterprises of treason, contrary to the laws of God and contrary to the known laws and customs of the kingdom and people of England. France, Europe and the continents and their governments which sit upon these five global isles. B. And whereas all the above under the control of the others have been and are now unlawfully restrained from providing a full and adequate response to the content and requirements of my first affidavit that I have served upon them in a lawful manner, then I, Peter of England, of these global isles, hereby place on the record in full public view of all persons that after said lawful process has been followed and non-compliance nor redress of my, my grievances is the result then I have entered into lawful rebellion, which is my right under Article 61 of Magna Carta 1215 AD, as well as my entitlement under, under the liberating, overriding, universal principle of the movement known as RE. And therefore I have become from this day, the 8th of July 2012, a free man of Great Britain and all global isles, within the freedom of common and universal law. C. I further now declare and make notification to the Rothschild Cabal, the Vatican and its papist clergy, the Church of England, the Queen of England, Fide Defensor of the Catholic Faith, the Crown being that of the Holy Roman Empire, all monarchies, all presidents of republics and other bodies, all prime ministers, all ministers of state, all secretaries of state, all members of parliaments and congress, elected or unelected, or operating via NGOs or as advisors or Crown agents and other employees of the Crown, or members and representatives of bar councils and law societies, or police forces, or policemen and their commanders, or military commanders and footmen and personnel, and all military junters feigning allegiance to the people no matter under which government flag or supranational entity they profess to walk beneath, to all governments, whether de facto or de jure, to all alphabet agencies of the global controlling elite, such as the NSA, CIA, FBI, MI5, MI6, FDA, Mossad, etc., as well as all other appointed or self-appointed authority figures, would-be world dictators, cabals operating covertly and overtly against me, all business leaders as well as judges in courts and their henchmen, all attorney generals and judges in their courts who operate tribunals, courts as kangaroo courts operating under uniform commercial code, admiralty law and all illegally at that, all those bodies acting under the guise of legitimacy, regulating and licensing and collection agencies, all parasitic banking cartels, boards of directors of said, all mandarins of business in food, pharma, energy and the military industrial corporatocracy, masquerading as legitimate and friendly intention towards the people 
to all known and unknown slave masters trading in people, to all federal banks and national banks and Western democratic governments under the influence of imperial clandestine Israel, the hand in the global fist, and the Rothschild's global control agenda for world domination, as well as the others with which they work, to all other despots and tyrants who support and purport to lead, govern and advise me, and to offer services and or try to collect money forcibly from me without written contract under common law, so signed, or other junta, puppet regimes, or governments or elites not mentioned above. That their authority I do declare to govern, advise, or direct me in any way whatsoever is both denied and ended. Their deceits and perversions, though forgiven, are still subject to restitution. D. That all statutory laws and taxation rights which have they have attempted to apply to me and entangle and wrap me in and purported to me to be just and reasonable and necessary in return for fair and honest governance, the implied social contract of taxation right in exchange for right to govern, are from this point in time, to my mind, ended, voided, annulled and dissolved, and as never having been. I declare my status in all matters null pro tonk, that is, as should have been, now is. The state is now, sorry, the slate is now cleaned by my very own hand. I declare myself free. Free from all chastisement, all laws, all governance, all influence, and all taxes accorded to the state and any obligations thereunto. E. For the reasons given within the content, content of the first preamble of this second aff affidavit, contigu contiguous with my first affidavit, I must now and do remove myself from all and any allegiance to those hateful and evil persons who have taken it upon themselves to hold the people as prisoners in their own land, and or who have taken it upon themselves to misgovern the people by the process of laying an, off, an unlawful claim to the true authority to govern. F. And to the further purpose that my own security and safety under the rule of those laws that are my inalienable birthright may be safeguarded against the threats to freedom and liberty now being posed by diverse evil persons contrary to law, that unlawful actions of past and present officers, personnel, employees, agents, military agents, etc., of the United States, of the United Kingdom and its instrumentalities may result in prosecution in this court for financial war crimes, fraud, colour of law fraud and cr crimes against humanity. This may result in charges, fines, loss of pensions, forfeiture of personal property to recover the national debt created by fraud and or incarceration of the public trial in this court of record. Further, I finally declare to all such persons that my personal freedoms come directly to me from God himself by the office of Christ and my off-world brotherly network upon whom I now make petition and call unto and that the walls and doors of all and any prisons now under the control of the traitors to this country and the planet, the Crown and people of the United Kingdom and other world governments will crack wide and will open at the behest of God himself if they should seek to impose penalty upon me for my departure from their mischiefs. And I reiterate the common law of England and the common law of man is enunciated in the golden rule of preserve life first and is my birthright and is the liberating, overriding, universal principle. Final notification. At any future time of returning to a condition of full allegiance and obedience to the authority of we the people, I will require and expect to receive any then leaders, representatives, delegates, governors or other such men's only own freely given assurance, as well as that of any other persons and or officials or representatives of a freely elected body of men or officials of any capacity whatsoever so representing themselves that they will from that same time conduct themselves and all their offices in full accordance with the laws and customs of free men and in total harmony with all sentiments and declarations referred to supra in this document observing both the sentiments inferred, implied and as openly stated and meant under common law, truthful to both the charter of the re-movement and as well as the liberating overriding universal principle, which laws and customs require and demand that the activities of all and any parliaments and governments of the United Kingdom, Europe, United States of America, 
and these global isles of the planet Earth be constrained to act within those provisions of the law that provide for the existence of such parliaments and governments. This I declare as a public, vocal declaration as witnessed in my attestation to freedom under common law and the liberating, overriding, universal principle. Attested before a common law court of record in Newcastle under Lyme, 750181, signed and witnessed and served. Now, on a more lighter note, we go to the adenum, or addendum, sorry, adenum, addendum, we have here. As the Secretary of the Treasury, the Attorney General and the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States and the Queen of England, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Mr Osborne and David Cameron, Prime Minister, as well as the Attorney General of England and Wales, Dominic Grieve, the House of Lords in Great Britain too, shall surely be able to testify that the men and women of America and the United Kingdom do not have access to a court of record and that the Supreme Court of the United States and instrumentality of the United States as well as the courts in Great Britain, is, are an inferior administrative court and do, does not offer we the people a venue to object to in, injudicious law, taxes, policy or rules of the United States or of Great Britain. For the United States, please look at the 11th Amendment. The judicial power of the United States shall not be construed to extend to any suit in law or equity which is to say, we the people in America strip the United States of any authority of common law. The Constitution is a contract. Constitutional law is contract law, not common law. Common law is lex terrae, the law of the land as determined in a court of record. Neither do the citizens of the United States do they have access to finality of settlement and lawful money. Finding of the court of record number 750181 in the United Kingdom that all grant of authority from we the people to the global elite and their interests both off and on planet, howsoever constructed or reconstructed, is voided and forfeit to this court and to be held in trust for the benefit of we the people. That in particular any grant of authority to the Secretary of the Treasury of the United States by Congress in the Gold Reserve Act of 1934 for the United States and likewise by a similar legislation enacted in England in 1931 I make it known to you, George Osborne, is null, void and forfeit to this court, to be held in trust for the benefit of we the people. The theft of we the people's wealth via the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944 and its deposition in the Bank for International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland, CH4002, Switzerland, is tacitly revoked by this court and again declared null and void. We declare all that should have been done, now done, null pro tonque. That Benjamin Jacob Bernanke, Chairman of the Federal Reserve Board in New York, Timothy Geithner, Secretary of the Treasury, and all other board members of the Federal Reserve Private Bank, as well as the Governor and Board and Directors and Court of Directors of the Bank of England, both openly known of and others secretly operating behind the curtain, as well as all senators and congressmen within the constitutional framework of the United States of America, as well as all parliamentarians of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and the Republic of Air, as well as all members of the Privy Council, as well as the Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne, as well as the Knesset in Israel, are no longer at liberty, and that all gold and other financial instruments, wherever held for the benefit of the United States, or the people of America, the people of the United Kingdom and Ireland, the people of the Fifth French Republic, the Bundes Republic of Deutschland, or better still, the more legitimate Weimar Republic, and all other European countries, as well as China, Russia, and our brothers in South American countries, and all the lands comprising of the five global isles of this planet, is forfeit to this court to be held in trust for the benefit of the people of this planet.